A sunny summer's day in Britain can be a rare thing. You can rest assured that rain and grey skies are going to be just around the corner. Now, not only is this generally depressing, it could also be having serious implications on our health. A new scientific review by the Health Supplements Information Service shows that three quarters of British adults fail to reach even their basic requirements of vitamin D, with a lack of sun being one of the contributing factors. Poor diet is also being blamed, and now nutrition experts are calling for action. This paper that we've just published in Nutrition Bulletin called Health Impact to Vitamin D, Are We Getting Enough? is a combination of all the research uh, looking at vitamin D and health over the last 20 years and uh, we've pulled it together to find out, first of all, are we getting enough vitamin D in the UK and what does vitamin D do in our bodies to prevent chronic disease? We've always known that vitamin D has a crucial role to play in keeping our bones healthy and preventing things like osteoporosis, but what we didn't know and what's exciting from this research is that vitamin D seems to help prevent things like heart disease, some types of cancer, it boosts immune function, it may even prevent us uh, losing our mental and physical powers in later life, so it has a role in slowing down of ageing. And all this is very new and cutting edge, and it really shows us that vitamin D has got much more potential in the diet than we previously thought. Most of the vitamin D in our bodies comes from our skin's exposure to sun. So when the sunlight hits our skin, our body makes its own vitamin D. But the problem that we've got in the UK, of course, is that over the last few years, we've had the most appalling summers and being uh, very northerly in latitude, we don't really have enough vitamin D for 12 months of the year because of a lack of sunlight. So that means that we're relying much more on the diet. Now, the trouble is, of course, that vitamin D rich foods like oily fish and eggs and milk have been in decline over the last 20 years. So we're not getting enough vitamin D from the diet either. And the result is that blood levels of vitamin D in the UK are really much lower than recommended. The trouble is though in the UK it's very confusing because for most of the population from age 3 to 50 there aren't any dietary recommendations so people simply haven't got any guidance about how much vitamin D they should be having from their diets. As Dr Ruxton says, there are no daily recommendations for vitamin D here in the UK. That's unlike places like America, Australia and New Zealand. Also, 70% of us fail to reach even 5 milligrams of vitamin D intake a day. Now, that's quite worrying when you consider that one study reported that to lower the risk of osteoporotic bone fractures, adults needed to take at least 55 milligrams of vitamin D each day through diet. That's in addition to the usual sun exposure. So how do you go about getting more. We need people to have more vitamin D from their diets and that means making dietary changes such as eating more oily fish, milk and eggs. But dietary changes take time to happen and there may be some people in the population who cannot make those changes. For example, they might be allergic to fish. What can they do? Well, one of the things they can consider is taking a multivitamin rich in vitamin D or other types of supplements. Um, which are a guaranteed source of vitamin D. You get 5 to 10 micrograms per dose, it goes straight into the blood and we know that from research. And it is something that people can do right now to make sure they're having enough vitamin D. All things considered then, you can bet that most people you meet in daily life aren't getting enough vitamin D. Emma is one of them. I lead a very hectic um, lifestyle, I'm always in the gay. And because of this, uh, my diet does just go out of the window. I certainly don't get my five fresh fruit and veg that I should be eating every day. And I also don't like oily fish, which I should be eating once a week. Because of my fair complexion, um, I try and stay out of the sunshine so not to get burnt. So this latest uh, research news is really interesting to me because I, I'm sure that I'm not getting my vitamin D quota. Um, so therefore I'm definitely going to be taking a multivitamin so I can get all the benefits from vitamin D. So then, Emma has plans to up her vitamin D intake and Dr Ruxton says the rest of us should do the same. What people can do right now is think about how much vitamin D they're having in their diets. Look at the uh, amount of oily fish, eggs and milk they're eating, but also consider taking a multivitamin in the meantime them and their families in order to make sure they're getting enough vitamin D now. But I don't actually think the problem of vitamin D insufficiency is widely known. So I think people should let their family and friends know about vitamin D and how they can improve diets right now uh, while these recommendations are being revised by government.